My name's Keith Coates. I'm a founding partner of Tomorrow Today. My title is the Director of Storytelling. Standing with me is my colleague, Graham Codrington. And we have just written a book and produced it both digitally and in print called Leading in a Changing World. Graham, why do you think a book like this is important? You know, Keith, I think that business leaders around the world recognize, they, they feel within themselves that we live in a time of deep disruption, that uncertainty is the new operating norm of, of the world. And, and what we're trying to do in this book is to put a little bit of information around that, uh, not just more data and examples of, of changes that are taking place, but actually a framework for change. Uh, we think that we can see a real shift taking place in human history. We think we're living at a transition moment, one of those moments that happens every few hundred years in human history. Uh, and what we've done is really unpack that to show why we are living in such a, a, a time of disruption and what that really means for leaders. And that was really at the heart of why this, this book uh, emerged. It was so that leaders can understand what it means to lead in turbulent, uncertain and transitionary times. Uh, but Keith, maybe you can just tell us a bit more about how the book is structured. Of course, there are two components to this particular book, Leading in a Changing World. And the first part of it is understanding the leadership context. Leadership is always context specific. And the context in which leaders find themselves is a changing world. Futurists talk about a VUCA world. And VUCA is an acronym that stands for a world that is volatile, uncertain, complex and ambiguous. Graham, tell us more about that VUCA world. So, Keith, yes, you know, for me, the best definition of leadership these days is knowing what to do when you don't know what to do. Not many leaders like to think of themselves as learner leaders, but that really is what we need right now. You know, this uncertainty that you were talking about, these novelties that are being introduced, what they do for us in our businesses, what they do for us with our strategic plans, what they do for us just in our leadership capabilities is they put us in a situation where our experiences are no longer adequate for where we find ourselves. We can't rely on the experiences that we've had. And this is actually quite obvious. If, if yesterday's world is not just going to continue into the future. If tomorrow's world is not just going to be a repeat or an extension of yesterday, then the experiences that we've had in the past are, are no longer useful. That's a horrible thing for a, a middle-aged leader to have to acknowledge because it means that everything I have experienced and all the wisdom I feel I've gained, I actually have to question. And we face now as leaders adaptive challenges. Adaptive challenges are where our past experiences and where our technical expertise, where all the things we've learned and understood in the past, where these are no longer useful and helpful. Of course, understanding the context raises the question, how then do you lead? And the part of the book that I co-authored was really addressing more the leadership equation in understanding the disruption and the change that leaders are dealing with there are going to need to be new questions that leaders ask. The context in which you find yourself leading as a leader is certainly going to demand new mindsets, new behaviors, and hopefully new outcomes. Leadership has never been more challenging than it is now. And we talk a great deal in tomorrow today about the need for leaders to be future fit, to be adaptive leaders. And we would love to help you, not only through this book, which is available in both print and digital versions, but through a whole series that we developed called Future Fit, How to Become a Great Leader, which essentially is helping you become a better leader and more agile leader in the face of this exponential change. Let us help you navigate that uncertainty. Let us help you navigate that future. It's work we love to do.